If you create a form that is overwhelmingly lengthy, chances are people will just skip it. That's why most brands split up their long form into smaller steps to keep their customers engaged while filling them out. And trust me, it really works. So let's show you how to turn your never-ending form into a multi-step breeze with blend forms. I have taken a pre-built customer satisfaction survey form and to be honest, it becomes never-ending when someone starts filling it. We need to break it down into multiple steps to keep the user's interest and attention at its peak. To make that work, let's take the form step field from the advanced fields. Now, if you have noticed already, this single input field comes into three distinct parts. Paging start at the top, the page break somewhere in the middle, and the paging end at the bottom. As the name suggests, paging start will contain the first part of the form. Now to customize it, let's tap on the pencil icon. First comes the element class. Add custom CSS classes to the input field if needed. Next, employ the progress indicator to bring your form to life. Choose the progress bar options to give your audience a numeric idea of their progress, or the steps to show the audience their progress via name or target points. Skip both and select none if you don't want your users to see their progress. How do you want the steps to appear in your form? Fluent Forms offers three different animation types for you. Let's choose the fade in and out type and move on to the step titles. Now, remember these two options, animation types and step titles will only appear if you choose either the progress bar or the steps. This form will have three different parts, so let's give each of them purpose-specific titles. Below that, you will see these three checkboxes. If you check the first one, automatic scrolling with each page transition will be disabled. Enabling the second option will trigger the next page automatically if your form has a radio field at the last item of any particular page. And thanks to the feature that automatically saves their progress with each step's change. Your user can pick up right where they left off without any hassle. Now let's see what we can do with the page break. Okay, you can customize the previous and next button right from this section. You have two choices for both buttons, default buttons and add images. The default button comes with a text button that you can personalize to make it more engaging and user-friendly. Or with the image, you can add an icon of your choice. For this form, let's stick with the default option. Oh, I almost forgot. This is the default number of steps for your forms. In case you need more steps, simply duplicate the page break or select the form step again. And don't worry, the page start and page end will no longer reappear this time. Smart and hassle-free, isn't it? The end page requires the same customization. Add an element class, tweak the previous button, and voila! You have just completed the setup for your multi-step form. Now save the form and take a preview. Here you have the first page, let's fill it out and see if we can get to the other pages. Awesome! Does the previous button work? Yes, it does! Better and smoother! So why wait? Upgrade your lengthy form into an engaging multi-step experience with Fluent Forms. Yes, you deserve to witness your conversion red score.